Welcome to this message of light. Today, throughout the gospel, you will learn how to become a good forgiver. You are my strength, you are my song. You are my salvation, you are my God, I hope in you. Your name is the Lord. I sing, O oh my Lord, so great is your victory. I sing, O oh my Lord, that I am your child. You are my strength, you are my song, you are my salvation. You are my God and I am proud of being your child. Hello and welcome to each one of you on this beautiful Sunday. Sunday is always a day very special, a family day. And a, family, a day to worship the Lord, but together. That's the difference. Today in the Gospel, we see again Peter, who's asking the Lord, Lord, how many times do I have to forgive? We say that very often in our families. How many times do I have to repeat the same thing? How many times do I have to forgive you? This is the last time I tell you, last time. I won't forgive anymore. Well, Maybe another time. We're always sort of wrestling with this challenge to forgive. And Jesus asks us seven times 77, which means always and always without any calculation. We forgive as God our Father forgives us. I'm very happy that the Lord doesn't forgive me as I forgive, but I'll try to forgive a little bit more every day, knowing what I'm going to tell you today. <clears throat> How to become a better forgiver. Very simple. First thing, you have to know your own sins and know that you are a sinner. That's the first thing. Then, second, go to confession as often as you can. Often as you can, I would say, like once a month. Go to confession. You have something to say. Don't think that, don't think that you're perfect. Nobody's perfect. I always recall, recall Pope John Paul II, who went to confession every day. He was, he knew that he was, all, he was not always doing what the Lord wanted him to do. He tried his best, but he said, sometimes I don't. And it's the same for, for our relations between brothers. We're not always full of charity, love, charity, hope. We're not always full of that. So by going to confession, much more than only saying your sins. You receive the mercy of the Lord and you don't just receive what you need. He gives you more than what you need. So you go and you're better afterwards. It's like a bone that fractures. And you know that story. <clears throat> when a bone, a wrist, a, a, an arm fractures, the bone afterwards will never fracture at the same place because it becomes stronger. It's the same with the mercy of the Lord. Probably we'll fall in the same sin another time, but each time we are stronger when we go to confession. Third, forgive offenses quickly, as fast as you can. This is important. I always tell uh, couples, married couples, or couples, simply, never go to bed on a difference. Always say your prayer together, one with the other. Our Father who art in heaven, forgive our trespasses as we forgive. 
and give a kiss to your wife or to your husband at that time, just to show that you're forgiving. And forgive your children. It's not a sin for a, pa uh, for a parent to, to, uh, to excuse himself with his child. It can be a very good testimony. Sometimes we do things as adults that might scandalize a child. We have to think about that. If we did it, just ask the child forgiveness. And finally, forgive concrete also. Do something for your reconciliation with that person. Not only forgiveness, but reconciliation. A phone call. I remember my mom, when mom and pop were in, in a good mood, one in front of the other for a couple of days, and all of a sudden mom came in with a nice piece of pie, hot pie with ice cream and cheese, and would give that to daddy. I said, oh, things are better than they were yesterday. He wouldn't have gotten all that the day before. Probably fruit in the can, canned fruit. No much, no more than that. Do something a, ge a gesture. But just think that if you can't reach the person, an infidelity, a separation, you can't talk with that person. You can at least pray for that person. Say a rosary for that person. A little sacrifice. Okay? So, we have four things. First, recall that you are a sinner. I can recall myself that I'm a sinner. And where do I come from? Second, the sacrament of confession. Third, forgive fast. Forgive quickly. And fourth, a gesture of reconciliation. And that will make of you a better forgiver. Maybe I gave you ideas to what to do today. Well, the Lord gave me an idea while I was talking with you. So have a beautiful day, a wonderful Sunday, and we'll be together again tomorrow. God bless you.